Rolls-Royce has unveiled a groundbreaking hydrogen jet engine, which is fueled by hydrogen generated through renewable wind and tidal electricity from Scotland's Orkney Islands. In the forthcoming video, we'll explore how this revolutionary engine functions, witness it in operation, and delve into its future applications in commercial aviation. While the Rolls-Royce engine is the first of its kind in the modern era, it isn't unprecedented. Hydrogen-powered aviation has historical roots, dating back to 1957 when NASA conducted a 20-minute flight over Lake Erie in North America. Initially powered by kerosene, the aircraft switched to hydrogen for the cruising phase. Similarly, in 1988, the Soviet Union had its own hydrogen-fueled flight. Both initiatives were spurred by concerns about depleting kerosene reserves and were drawn to hydrogen's potential for higher altitude flights. Notably though, data is sparse. It appears that the Soviet aircraft was the first to operate solely on hydrogen fuel. However, the program was abandoned following the collapse of the Soviet Union. In the decades since these initial experiments, technological advancements have been significant, and Rolls-Royce's new jet engine is a testament to this progress. Functionally similar to traditional jet engines, it first sucks in air and compresses it using a sequence of compressors. This compressed air is then mixed with fuel in a combustion chamber where it ignites to create a high-speed stream of hot gas. This gas is then expelled through a nozzle at the engine's rear, generating robust forward thrust. Additionally, some of this thrust is harnessed to power an internal turbine, which in turn rotates the front compressor via a central shaft. Turbojet engines like Rolls-Royce's new offering are actually a subtype of gas turbines. Commercial airplanes frequently use variations of these, known as turbofans and turboprops, which also convert some of the engine's rear power to spin a front-facing fan or propeller. This enhances efficiency, particularly at lower speeds. While the fundamental principles of hydrogen and conventional jet engines are similar, specific modifications are necessary for the former. For instance, the fueling infrastructure including pumps, lines, and injectors must be adapted to handle liquid hydrogen and convert it into gas form for combustion. Further adjustments involve the combustion chamber's design, optimized to facilitate efficient hydrogen and air mixing. Given that hydrogen combustion generates higher temperatures than conventional jet fuel, new engine components, possibly requiring specialized coatings or material, must be developed to endure this heat. Lastly, since hydrogen burns at a rate 10 times faster than conventional jet fuel, updated control systems are essential to ensure flame stability. Now, let's turn our attention to the Rolls-Royce hydrogen jet engine in action at its test facility in England. Remarkably, the engine is a revamped version of an existing turboprop design. As it operates, you'll notice water vapor condensing into a pool nearby, a byproduct of hydrogen combustion. These advances in hydrogen propulsion herald a new era for aviation, one that could be virtually free of CO2 emissions. Yet, like any innovation, hydrogen-powered aviation faces its own set of challenges, storage being the most pressing. Liquid hydrogen, the form preferred by both past and future designs due to its higher energy density, necessitates chilling temperatures of minus 253 degrees Celsius for storage. Moreover, Although liquid hydrogen offers nearly triple the energy density of kerosene by weight, the overall fuel system ends up weighing approximately 1.5 times more than its kerosene counterpart when storage tanks are accounted for. The spatial considerations are equally daunting. The storage system would occupy about four times the volume of a conventional kerosene system. This makes the conventional wing storage technique impractical. However, global engineering minds aren't easily deterred. Various groundbreaking designs have emerged from institutions like the UK's Aerospace Technology Institute. For instance, one concept positions a highly insulated, cooled hydrogen tank at the rear of the plane. To counterbalance this added weight, an auxiliary wing, known as a canard, is strategically placed at the aircraft's front. More audacious designs even feature additional hydrogen tanks suspended beneath the wings, lending the aircraft a unique aesthetic. These augmented storage solutions aim to extend the aircraft's range to nearly 6,000 nautical miles. But the challenges don't end with storage and range. Cost-effective hydrogen sourcing remains problematic, especially from renewable sources. 
Also, while hydrogen combustion is CO2 free, it does generate higher levels of nitrous oxide emissions. The years ahead will undoubtedly witness ingenious solutions to these hurdles. Moreover, it will be intriguing to see how hydrogen gas turbines find applications in other modes of transport, such as armored vehicles and naval ships, which have previously employed them for their high power density.